In a music course, you hear discussions about rhythm, and you read a great deal about it. Reading and talking about rhythm may help you understand it better. But some aspects of rhythm are hard to describe in words. The best way to understand rhythm is to hear it in actual music. An essential feature of rhythm in almost all music is the beat. Try tapping your fingers lightly with the beat as soon as you feel it. Physical movement is a very natural response to a regular and consistent beat. Beats can occur at different rates of speed. In musical terms, the rate of speed is called the tempo. And it has a significant effect on your perception of the music. You don't perceive all the beats as being equally important, even when beats are sounded with identical emphasis. The custom in music is for the emphasized notes to coincide with the pattern of the beats. This means that the rhythm of the notes and the beats will usually jive. But sometimes composers vary their music by deviating from the normal, expected thing. This demonstration will help you recognize the beat.
and planets are continuously in motion and we from the moment of our birth don't stand still we evolve as well I set down these notes on paper. I'm obsessed by the 
thought that I may be the last living man on earth. I've been hiding in this empty house near Grover's Mill, a small island of daylight cut off by the black smoke from the rest of the world. All, of this, all that happened before the arrival of these monstrous creatures in the world now seems part of another life. Continuity with the present. Furtive existence of the lonely derelict who pencils these words on the back of some astronomical notes. Look down at my blackened head. Try to connect them with a professor who lives at Princeton and who on the night of October 20th glimpsed through his telescope an orange splash of light on a distant planet. My wife, my colleagues, my students, my books, my observatory, my, my world. Where are they? Did they ever, ever exist? What day is it? days exist without calendars. Does time pass when I know human hands left to wipe the clock? In writing down my daily life, I tell myself I shall preserve human history between the dark covers of this little book that was meant to record the movement of the stars. But the writer must live and to live on the deep. Find moldy bread in the kitchen and an orange not too spoiled to swallow. Keep watch at the window. From time to time I catch sight of a Martian above the black smoke. Smoke still holds the house in its black coil, but thanks to the hissing sound and suddenly I see a Martian mounted on his machine. Spraying the air with a jet of steam as if to dissipate the smoke. I watch in a corner as this huge metal lake nearly brush against the house. Exhausted by terror, I fall asleep. Morning. Morning. Sun streams in the window. Black cloud of gas is lifted and the scorched meadows to the north look as though a black snowstorm is passed over. I adventure from the house. I make my way to a road. No traffic. Here in their wrecked car, baggage overturned the blackened skeleton. Push on north. For some reason I feel safer trailing these monsters than running away from them. And I keep a careful watch. I've seen the Martians feed. As one of their machines appear over the top of trees, I'm... Ready to fling myself flat on the earth. like a beanstalk. I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So the Dalai Lama smiled and said, 
life is like a beanstalk. I wish to know the meaning of life. 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 I wish to know the meaning of life, Father. So the Dalai Lama smiled and said, Hello, oh, my son. Life is like a beanstalk. The lecture is conducted from the mic to the speaker. The lecture is conducted from the mic to the speaker. The lecture is conducted from the mic to the speaker. The lecture is conducted from the mic to the speaker. The lecture is conducted from the mic to the speaker. The lecture is conducted from the mic to the speaker. raid the offices of the International Times. The British...
I wonder what disasters they may bring about.
It's true that the beat maintains a constant pace, but notes are freer. So while a steady succession of beats is going on, all sorts of rhythm can be sounded by the notes. possible, therefore, to devise a thermometer or a percentage figure to gauge the amount of motion or tension and release within the music. Music is far too complex for this to be possible.
With human beings, if we give them a drug, for example, their whole emanation changes very dramatically. And we've tried all kinds of drugs. Some certain drugs increase the emanation, other drugs decrease it so that it's almost non-existent. call this psychotechnology.
following is an examination of why in a universe composed of matter and energy, conscious experience exists. I'm a rap scientist. I'm a rap scientist. According to psychophysical observations, humans undergo a wide array of biological, social, psychological, and emotional experiences when exposed to interwoven binaural sound. Now tapping directly into the cosmic wellsprings of divine intelligence, we find that the term sound refers not to the sound waves themselves, but to a perception, an experience. By this definition, nothing can make a sound unless someone is present to hear it. Sound waves are periodic compressions of air, water, or other media. Loudness is merely a perception of intensity. Vibrations strike the tympanic membrane, which vibrates at the same frequency as the sound waves that strike it. When an individual is exposed to ethereal vibration, the body automatically and appropriately responds. Vestibular sensations detect the direction of tilt and the amount of acceleration in the head, thus stabilizing imperative bodily functions that would otherwise be thrown off. One can see 93 million miles, the distance to the sun. Ultimately, how far you or I can see depends on how far the light travels. We fall into a trap because we perceive the objects we see as being out there, when in fact, the stimulation is on the retinas of our eyes, which in turn stimulates a pattern of activity in the brain, enabling us to perceive objects or colors. Members of a control group have reported visualizing an amalgamation of colors in response to sound. In vision, what we see is entirely our perception. Light bounces off of the object, interacts with the neurons in the back of your eye, and eventually with the neurons in your brain. According to the trichromatic theory of color vision, we perceive color through the relative rates of response by three kinds of cones, with each kind maximally sensitive to a different set of wavelengths. More intense light would increase the activity of all three cones, but would not greatly alter the ratio of responses. While subjecting human auditory senses to a collaboration of frequencies, one may engage oneself in consumption of natural and or synthetic controlled substances, highly intensifying or restricting the experience and transference of God speak and melodic patterning. Alcohol inhibits the flow of sodium across the membrane and generally interferes with nervous system activity. The GABA-A receptor is made more responsive. Nicotine has strong stimulant effects on heart rate and blood pressure. Breathing rate increases and or decreases depending on the user. Caffeine dilates the blood vessels, increases heart rate and blood flow to the brain and other organs. And cocaine increases the release of dopamine and blocks reuptake of dopamine, which decreases the amount of activity in the brain. Marijuana, also known as tetrahydrocannabinol, has receptors in the hippocampus, the basal ganglia, and the cerebellum. There are virtually no receptors in the medulla and brainstem, which are areas responsible for breathing and heart rate, which is why even large doses of marijuana do not threaten these basic functions. The properties of the neurons in the audio and visual cortex are to a large degree molded by experience. Neurons become more responsive to common stimuli and less responsive to uncommon stimuli. It is more than music. It is a divine science, and we are scientists. The final appearance of the main phrase of the theme is also designed to hold the listener's attention. Two appearances of the theme overlap each other. This creates a little dissonance and gives the sensation of increased activity. It's a good example with which to close this demonstration. Beats for energy, beats. Beats for energy, beats. Beats for energy, beats. Beats for energy, beats. Causes us to react like this. Yeah!
causes us to react like this. 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 This kind of experimentation is still going on, but we haven't yet made it so commonplace that anybody in their laboratories can reproduce it. And until we can do that, most scientists in the United States simply will not believe us.